Today on Trisha, strange women on the phone. I received two calls from some female stating that he gave them STD. Disappearing money. I feel like Marquis stole $700 from me. What? Is Tempest's boyfriend Marquis an international man of mystery? Why does it take 17 passcodes to get into his phone? I can't answer that question. Or is he just a cheater and a thief? This is Marquis's lie detector results. You want me to read from this or do you want to start being honest? She found a photo of her girlfriend sucking another woman's toes. She has some my foot in her mouth. She don't even like feet. And that's hardly the only evidence that she's been stepping out. I found text messages saying that she want to have sex with other females. Can this accused cheater beat the lie detector test? The polygraph determined that DJ. Or will she put her foot in it? We put a hidden camera in your green room when you were here yesterday. If I was drunk, I would party. Party on She found a bra in his coat pocket. My friends, I, you know what, I think they honestly get together and plot against me Why? just because they know her reaction. Why would you allow your friends to do that to me? Is cheating their only problem? Do you have an issue with alcohol? Ah. I'm asking you, do you have an issue with alcohol? It's all today on Trisha. believes she's been betrayed, lied to, and even robbed blind by the love of her life, Marquise. You see, Tempest suspects Marquise has not only stolen $700 from her wallet and her secret stash, but that he's also been cheating on her. Now, Tempest says she received two anonymous calls from women claiming he'd given them an STD. Oh. <laughs> Now, Marquis says he's innocent, but Tempest isn't buying it. And she says their future lies in the hands of a lie detector test. Watch this. In 2008, I met the love of my life, Marquis. But right now, I feel like he is not the man that he claims to be. I think he's lying, I think he's cheating, and I want some answers. I trust the Marquis with everything. I received two calls from some females stating that he gave them STD. And at that point, I knew that something had to be wrong. He claims he's not cheating. Well, why does it take 17 passcodes to get into his phone? Now, if that's not cheating, I don't know what is. And the worst part of the story is, I feel like Marquis stole $700 from me around Christmas time. That hurts. And I can't even celebrate my Christmas with my son. So if he took that money, I'm done with him forever. If Marquis cheated on me and stole my money, that means he betrayed me as a friend as well as a lover. And that would be a double slap in the face. Well, in an effort to uncover the entire truth, Marquise took a lie detector test and we'll have his results later on in the show. Tempest, so why do you think he stole from you? Um, around 10.30, I got up to get ready to go to work. I went for my wallet, you know, just to put yeah. some pocket money in my pocket and it was, it was empty. Only thing that was in there was a receipt. Soon as I saw that the 450 was missing, I have a secret stash. I immediately ran to my secret, my secret stash, which is in, a, um, in my son's room in a shoe. Yeah. So, I mean, I went in there. It was $250 that was in there as well. That was empty. Only thing that was in there was an envelope. What? So who knew about that secret stash apart from you? He did, but I also had a friend that did as well. So he's, he, mm -hmm. but I thought he's your ex now. He is now because my money came up missing. Oh. <laughs> he is now. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. when, you, when you put this to him about the stolen money, what did he say? He was saying that my friend did it, it had to be her because he didn't take the it. The other he reason never... I understand Marquis is an ex is because you believe he's been cheating. Um, you, yeah. you, you heard from two women? Separately, that he gave them his STDs? I, or was re his... I received calls from them. Saying he gave yes, them STDs? One said ah. a bacterial infection and the other one said STD. Yeah! Do, have you ever checked his phone? Because I know a lot of women do if they're suspicious. I wish got... I could check his phone. Marquis has the alphabetic code, the, the num num numeric code, the passcode. His passcode, you know how you put in the little. Yeah. He used every single dot 
on his thing every single day. I say, how do you even remember to get in your phone? You know, people always say they want the truth. What are you going to do if the lie detector test comes back? I, I don't know what it says. So mm -hmm. let me play devil's advocate. What is, mm -hmm. if it says you're right to be concerned about him because he either stole or he's cheated or he's done both? So what, what, how are you going to deal with that if you love him? I'm going to have to let him go because love's not going to make me a dummy anymore. Like, I got to keep my eyes open with him. <laughs> I got to keep my eyes yeah. open, you know. All right, let me... The flip side is what if he's innocent and you've been accusing him and you've made him an ex? Then what? We're going to get back together. He can come home and I'll make it up to him. That's what you're hoping. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think it's time we met Marquise. So, everyone, please welcome Marquise. How do you feel about being accused, Marquise? I feel like this this whole situation is crazy, Trisha. Yeah, it sure is crazy. It's crazy. It's you crazy. never cheated on her. I knew this girl for like damn near six years. Uh -huh. Almost six years. And you you haven't cheated on her in all that time? No, that's crazy. So how come well, this what, what you mean? Like, how do these girls get my number? Talk to Trisha, man. And why on, do they be worried so worried about what me and you doing? Like, what, what's up with that? I need to know. Let me know something. No, talk I'm Trisha? talking to you. Why you want to talk I'm to me? I'm talking to you Can because to we need some okay. understanding. Trisha. Yeah. Okay. Rockies. Put yourself in this situation. Yeah. Okay. I'm your boyfriend. Huh. <laughs> you I'm don't your want boyfriend. that. Huh. I'm your boyfriend. Yeah. Straight up. Girls calling her, telling her a whole bunch of but they have no evidence whatsoever about the situation. So you're going to listen to what everybody yeah, else says? Yeah, because how come these girls got my why, number? Exactly. Why are, how do they get my how number? They get my, how do they get my number? You gotta be around them. You have had to have been around them. How they get, how they get a number? How they get a number? That brings me to my phone. You know how my phone is. You got 17 codes? How many? I got Just more than about. 17. Why? Exactly. I can't answer that question. Oh, what are you hiding? I ain't hiding nothing, bro. I can't answer that question. I just don't like people going through my phone. What do you mean you can't answer the question? And she very, she's very like when yeah. I go to sleep, she always goes I through sure my phone. I sure will. But I don't go through your phone. Okay, but you can. But I don't. You want can. To. I don't ain't feel no like if we're in a relationship, if we're in a relationship, ain't no on mine. if we're in a relationship, it should be trust. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It should be exactly. Trust. So you should trust me with your phone, just it like I'm trust. Hang on, you two, you two been on and off for how many years? I sit. Yeah. Almost sit. So, am I right in thinking that when you've been off, maybe you got with some other girls and they're I was angry? Single. Oh, so you I could get single. with other girls. Yeah, then. I was off. Well, when we get back together, them girls need to be dropped. But you True. don't do it like that. Oh. I'm sure you don't. Because if you been did, they wouldn't keep calling me. Oh. Worry about what I'm doing with you. Oh. There's an overlap, huh? Yeah, that's, a, that's a big overlap. There was a big overlap of women. Yeah. So you kept going with one woman when you'd actually got back with Tempest? One time, but she know about that. So just a minute, you were still sleeping with this other girl because she gave you Oh, money. he said he wasn't no, sleeping, I wasn't with, sleeping her. with her. Oh, I wasn't well, sleeping with well, her. Well, how was it an overlap if you weren't having sex of some kind with her? I was still dealing with us. To her, dealing with other females, communicating, yeah. that's an overlap. Well, you were exactly. taking, you, hang on, you were taking money from this other girl? Yeah. You needed money from her, so why wouldn't you take money from this girl? Cause she do, she do too much, man. She got a lot on her shoulders as a single mother, point blank. Period. As a single mother, exactly. she do a so lot. Why she do, would she you does rob a me? lot. So why she would does you a lot. Rob I don't me? put an extra burden on her by her giving me money. She know I don't even ask her for money at all. So point blank. Period. I don't put that. So you're burden saying on her. there's no way you stole any of that money? I ain't steal none of that money. Even two, like I said, America, been two I ain't steal no money. Two instances where her money no come missing. Money. And only person that done seen me put it away or knows where it possibly is is him. Well, I think it's about time, Tempest. You got the answers Please. that you're yeah, after. Answer. You asked for the truth, so are you ready for the results? Okay, so I'm just reading from this. Um, I don't know what it's going to say. Here we go. So this is Marquise's uh, lie detector results. Marquise, we asked you, did you give the two women who called uh, Tempest an STD? You said no. The lie detector determined... Up next, Marquise, do you want me to read from this or do you want to start being honest? <laughs> Coming up, she found a photo of her girlfriend sucking another woman's toes. She don't even like feet. Can this accused cheater beat the lie detector test? My ex-girlfriend was putting her foot in my face and I was like, your feet stink. The polygraph determined that DJ... What? <laughs> 
and later. How many times do you think he's cheated? At least seven times for seven different women that I know of. The truth is revealed. What? Today on Trisha. In 2008, I met the love of my life, Marquise. But right now, I feel like he is not the man that he claims to be. I think he's lying, I think he's cheating, and I want some answers. I trust the Marquise with everything. I received two calls from some females stating that he gave them STD, and at that point, I knew that something had to be wrong. And the worst part of the story is, I feel like Marquise stole $700 from me around Christmas time. That hurts. So if he took that money, I'm done with him forever. How do you feel about being accused, Marquise? I feel like this this whole situation is crazy, Trish. And you you haven't cheated on her in all that time? No, that's crazy. That so you're saying wrong. there's no way you stole any of that money? I didn't steal none of that money. So I think it's about time, Tempest, you got the answers Please. that yeah. you're Good after. Answer. You asked for the truth, so are you ready for the results? OK, so I'm just reading from this. Um, I don't know what it's going to say. Here we go. So this is Marquise's uh, lie detector results. Marquise, we asked you, did you give the two women who called at Tempest an STD? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. No, no, no. Marquise, we asked you, did you steal the $700 from Tempest? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. We asked you, we asked you, did you steal $250 prior to the $700 that went missing? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Are you using Tempest for her money? You said no. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. Are you using me for my money? With that question off top, and if in anybody oh, relationship, okay. if anybody relationship, point blank period, bills got to get paid. You get what I'm saying? Okay, they bills do. Bills got to get paid. But so at the same time, it ain't no, it ain't no right or wrong answer to that question. It is, because you know if you using somebody for money, because you don't give me no money. Okay, well, what you using me for? You using me for a place to stay? You using me for food? What you using me for? You using me for something? I got food stuff. Okay, okay, let me keep I going. Let me stuff. keep going, Tempest. I got food stuff. We asked you, right, that's Tempest. Dead. That's I got dead. food stuff. That's Tempest, dead. let me keep going. Marquise, we asked you during your relationship with Tempest, did you have sexual intercourse with another woman? Now, do you want me to read from this or do you want to start being honest? Because you know what? Right from the beginning, I thought this guy's not a thief, but it comes as no surprise. You admitted you had sex with more than three women. However, the, three. Lie, the lie detector determined you, you were not being truthful. In fact, you've had sex with more than five women. Oh. Marquise, are you kidding me? Oh. We asked you, are you in love with Tempest? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. Mm. OK, that's that hurt, but that's all right, because it ain't nothing. He didn't steal your money. He didn't steal my money, but that's it. Like, what? Stole he did your everything heart. else. He stole my heart and stepped on that bitch. Like, what is that? You don't love me after everything that I done did. He still really loves you. And, it, and, and I really love yeah, her. Yeah, but fidelity might not mean anything to you, but guess what? You could lose the thing you value the most. Man, listen, she knew what she was getting herself into. Where she did. She knew what she was getting herself into. I knew I was getting myself into. She knew that. I knew. No, I didn't know that because when you came to me, it wasn't no, you're going to be no cheater. You was going to tighten up. You was going to be about me. No, you didn't. If you have a sex with five females. I did tighten up. I did tighten up. I did tighten up. I did tighten up. I tighten up. Ain't nothing. You feel me? He can go wherever he want to go. He can go with one, two, three, four, number five. You feel me? He can go there. But it hurts. It does hurt. It always hurts. Marquis, you asked me before, what would I do if I was your girlfriend? I wouldn't be your girlfriend. <laughs> what I, I said wouldn't. at first. No. Because... That's true. No, I'll That's tell true. you why. Because 
in case you haven't worked this out about women, you know, I have so many guys coming on the show, not you in particular in this case, but I've had so many guys coming on the show, they've got all that, I'm the man. What they fail to realize is the sexiest thing a woman can find in a man is that she is the only woman Thank in you, his Trisha. life. Thank you, Trisha. Huh? You want me to be one of the other five? It ain't worth it. I do too much. Uh, I do too much for him. I got, I got what I need. You stay strong. <laughs> <laughs>She's everything I ever wanted. DJ's a big flirt. I don't get to see her like I used to. I don't hear from her. I'm always in the house, stressing over DJ, worrying about what she doing, where she at. I found Instagram pictures of her and other females. One of the pictures, she had somebody's foot in her mouth. She don't even like feet. She don't touch my feet. I found text messages in her phone about wanting to have sex with other females. We don't even have sex no more. And recently, I found out she's been out over a stripper house. DJ phone is like a pictionary of cheating. Pictures of strippers, check. Pictures of other girls from over Instagram, check. Pictures of girls sitting on her lap, check. I don't sit on her lap. DJ means everything to me. I'm in love with DJ, but if she failed this test, we're done. Well, as you've just heard, Nini has a big problem with DJ's good friend, Tutti. Now, Tutti's also here. We're going to hear from you in just a moment. Uh, and you've got str a strong opinion about this whole situation. But, Nini, let's come to you first. Why are you so convinced that DJ is cheating? For the simple fact, first of all, DJ, she don't come home at night. She don't call me when she's out with her friends. She don't answer my text messages. She has her phone when she do come home. She's always out at night, she's taking a picture of the females. As you can see, sitting on her lap. When's the last time you actually her saw feet. her? Last time I saw DJ was like a week ago. Oh! I have not seen DJ. And tell me about her phone. You said she hides her she phone? She hides her phone. When she come in, she keeps on vibrate and puts it under the pillow, so I won't find it. But you have found things on but her I phone. But I found it. What do you find? I found text messages saying that she want to have sex with other females. That's what I find. So why are you with somebody who would do that? Why would you with For the simple fact, I do love her. I'm in love with her. But what she's doing, I don't like it. She don't want me to do it, so she needs to stop. So I think she's cheating. Me. Okay. Uh, now, you mentioned, you mentioned Facebook and Instagram. Let's come to Facebook. What have you found in her Facebook account? She gave her number out in the inbox. You don't give your number out to every female what? that you know. But do you, you she's you, telling them they gorgeous. You don't even tell me I'm gorgeous. Tell me about Instagram. What have you found on Instagram? Instagram pictures her sister sitting on her lap. I don't sit on my sister's lap. So why is she on your lap? She's smelling someone's feet. You don't even touch my feet when you do. Do you ask house. her about all of this? I ask her. You know what she tell me? You know I love you, baby. Has DJ ever admitted cheating? When I say, did you ever cheat on me? Is there anything you ever tell me? You know I love you, Nene. 
you my heart. Oh, so there's no yes or it's no? It's never yes or no. No straight It's always, answer. man, I'm changed. I'm not the same person I used to. I'm not the old DJ. Let me move on. Now, what happened? There's one particular time that she went over to, and Tootie's here in the ear audience, she went round to her house. Oh, that time? Let me tell you. She said she was over her man's house. Right. She said she's gonna come to my house in an hour. Here it is, 12 o'clock. You're not answering your phone. You're not replying to my text messages. So I pops up over to Tootie's house. And what I see when I get there, I go through the basement door. It's unlocked. Where's DJ on the couch and her phone with Tootie's best friend laying on her lap, sleep. So what I do, I snatch her phone, I smack DJ. <laughs> and what I found when I look in the phone, oh, she's telling some girl, come and see me. I want to kiss you so bad. I miss you so much. I want to have sex with you. Why would you stay with someone who you disrespects you like that? I don't understand it. Why would you bother? Why would you bother? You right. You right. You right. I don't know why I say her, but see, I love her. See, but when you love yeah, yeah, someone, yeah, yeah, love, love. But no, you when know. you love someone, you gonna forgive them. No. But see, right now, no. in your world, maybe if I love someone and they love me back, they're mm -hmm. gonna respect me. They aren't mm -hmm. gonna do that. You right. You right. You right. You right. You right about that. See, you right about that. But see, I trusted Tootie. You I trusted, trusted I trusted Tootie. Cause I used to go to Tootie about the things that DJ do. Oh. But see, if the friend is foul, then the other friend will be foul. So, so the second time when I popped up over Tootie's house, Tootie locked the door. Oh, and Tootie you did. came around front. Oh, she came did. around the front way. See, this time when I popped up, DJ X was there. They was hiding behind the couch. So you're covering for DJ, right? So she no, was covering. I'm covering for DJ. She was covering. Man. DJ grown. You say I'm your friend. Yeah, that's your man. Y'all go way back, but look, I'm your friend. Look, Nene. So if I'm coming to you, then you supposed to tell me what's going on. Man, look, DJ grown. That insecurity stuff that you got, man, no. you need to let it go. I'm insecure because she real. made me insecure. That's why I'm insecure. We be in a house, you know, so we tell be me. out getting money. So what? What you? Tootie house. Tootie house is the party house. Right. Tootie, when Tootie say party of my house. That means females, drinks, and more. Why did you go? <laughs> oh, DJ don't never want me to go. I go sometimes, but not all the time. Are you covering for her? No, I'm not covering for DJ. Oh. I'm not, though. I'm not. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm not now, covering you're, for Now, you brought DJ here for a lie detector test. What happens if the lie detector test comes back and says all your worst fears are confirmed, that she's been messing around? What are you going to do? It's over between me and DJ. Yeah. I don't want to hear nothing she's going to say. It's over. It's over. Wait, wait, hang on just a minute. She why are you saying she's why you, lying? Why do you think I'm lying? Because, Nene, no matter what you you say you're going to do this, you say you're going to do that, but at the end of the day, you still right back with DJ. Just like when well, you get caught in the text you not my phone, for you still her, back with DJ. If you're not covering for her, then you should be saying that. We're going to see the day. The last time come back, it's done. It's over between us. Yeah. 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 says she's innocent and she took a lie detector test to prove it. Of course it. she will say so she So let's find out why she says Nini's the one to blame for destroying their relationship. DJ, come on out. Coming up, we put a hidden camera in your green room when you were here yesterday. Then I'm going to kiss you in front of the girlfriend. But if I was drunk, I would cry. Cry, Later. How many times do you think he's cheated? At least seven times for seven different women that I know of. You are the cop. Get off my stage. <laughs> the truth is revealed. What? Today on Trisha. I'm in love with DJ. She's everything I ever wanted. I found Instagram pictures of her and other females. One of the pictures, she had somebody's foot in her mouth. I found text messages in her phone about wanting to have sex with other females. We don't even have sex no more. Why would you stay with someone who you disrespects you like that? I don't understand it. Why would you bother? Why would you bother? You right, you right, you right. See, I love her, see, but when you love yeah, yeah, someone... Yeah, 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 love, love. But no, you when love. you love someone, you're going to forgive them. No, see, if I love someone and they love me back, they're mm -hmm. going to respect me. They aren't mm -hmm. going to do that. You right, you right. Are you covering for her? No, I'm not covering for DJ. What happens if the lie detector test comes back and says that she's been messing around? It's over between me and DJ. I don't want to hear nothing. 
DJ says she's innocent and she took a lie detector test to of prove course it. Of course she will say so she is. So let's find out why she says Nini's the one to blame for destroying their relationship. DJ, come on out. Yeah. I love my girl. I love my girl. If you love Straight me, like then that, you want to take pictures of her. Sit down. Hey, she going like that. We got those photos here, the, the ones. Ex pictures. Yeah, yeah, talk, talk me through what the pictures. pictures. Let yeah. me see. What's that? That's not my feet. <laughs> well, I can explain that. Mm. First of Please all, explain. I was you with my over your mother. Okay, 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 okay. I was mm -hmm. supposed to be over my mother house. I ended up at my ex-girlfriend's house. Did you lie to her then? I did yes. lie to her. She did I lie. Did. Okay, I lied. I was wrong. Yeah, I was yeah, wrong. Yeah. I admit that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Have you cheated on other partners in the past? Of course I have. I used to be a dog. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. No, I ain't no dog. I reckon we're just about to find out. Let's have a look. I'm just saying, you gorgeous, like for real. Like if you live where I live, I take you for the real part. Did he get murdered? Did you have my baby? Did you have my baby? She's bad. If I call you and you wanna answer the phone, then I mean, I'm gonna see you the next day, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss you with my girl. But if I was drunk, I would probably. He's a liar. A liar. He's a liar. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. So, how do you explain that? I'm the type of person, and I told her this from the very beginning. No, you're not. If I'm not happy in my relationship, I am going to talk to other females. So, you're not happy in the relationship? So you're I'm not happy. not happy right now. No, I'm not. But. Then why can't you walk? So, please welcome our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. <laughs> As usual, I don't know what's here. I'm going to read these out and I'm going to do my best to win an Oscar to be looking shocked or something. <laughs> we asked you, are you in love with Nini? You said yes. Tim? Polygraph determined that DJ was being truthful. Ooh. We asked you, are you still in love with your ex-girlfriend? You said no. Tim? Polygraph determined she was not being truthful. Oh! <laughs> Sexual intercourse with the girl that Nini thinks is your play sister. You said no. I want to know this. No. The polygraph determined that DJ was not being truthful. Oh. What? what? Are you serious? Hey, 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 hey. What? We asked you in the past two years during your entire relationship with Nini, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Nini? Nope. You said no. Knock me dead, Tim. The polygraph determined that DJ was not only not being truthful, that it was at least more than three other people. Oh! You knew that. That's bull, man. That's bull. You knew that. Okay. I'm done. You knew that. I'm done. OK. So let's you and me talk. You knew that. I'm done. I gave her this chance to tell the truth. I'm oh, done. come on. I'm Listen, done. Listen, there are boundaries in a relationship, and if you don't put those boundaries down, then guess what? People are going to go all over the place. Now, I'm not surprised. And, and one of the things that you said, DJ, is that you haven't been happy. I don't think you've been happy in the relationship for some time. Am I right? I mean, you're right, but at the same time, like, everything I did, she know about it. Do you want to continue to be the person you are? Or you think there's something out there maybe a little better, a little higher to aim for? I feel like I do. Everybody has room for change. So I feel like I can change, and I do want to grow. But I'm still young, and I want to grow with her. Yeah. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after this. Coming up, how many times do you think he's cheated? At least seven times for seven different women that I know of. And later, I'm asking you, do you have an issue with alcohol? I enjoy drinking a beer every now and again. Do you have an issue with alcohol? Uh, ah. Yeah. Tell the truth.
is revealed. What? Today on Trisha. <laughs> Joining us on stage is 42-year-old Mary. Now, Mary was just 13 years old when she met the love of her life, Mark. There he is. She met him in a group home, and she can't imagine life without him. But today, Mary is ready to file for divorce. Oh. Yep, if she finds out Mark has been cheating on her. Recently, Mary not only found a bra in his coat pocket, oh. she overheard him picking up women at, at a bar. Oh. And if that's not suspicious enough, Mary claims he called out another woman's name during sex. Oh. Listen to how Mary describes this ordeal. I've known my husband Mark since I was 13 years old. Mark is the love of my life, but I can't stand it when he lies and he cheats on me. I've caught Mark cheating at least seven times with seven different women. One time Mark was gone for two weeks. When he came home, I found another woman's bra in his coat pocket. Mark even stole my car to go see another woman. He even had sex with another woman in my house, in my bed, and still denies it. I heard him on the phone tell another woman that he wanted to full throttle her. I'm tired of his lies. If he fails his lie detector test, I went out of this marriage. Wow, 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 wow. So, Mary. So, Mary, when did you start suspecting Mark of cheating? When his friends would come and tell me that he was cheating. Oh, nice friends. I caught him with my I've, I've caught him with my own two eyes, yeah. Oh, when, what did you see? When he don't come home at night, I stalk him. I follow oh. him. Okay. Uh, and what did you see? Went to his job site, waited for him to get off work. He didn't know I was there. Watched him go to this lady's house. Waited and waited for him to come out, hand in hand. <gasps> they, went to a, they went to the tavern, singing karaoke. After that, they left and they went to the casino hand in hand. So, did you confront him with this? When he came home? Yeah, what, what did he say? It's all in my head, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm psycho. How many times do you think he's cheated? At least seven times with seven different women that I know of, if not more. You he, met him when you were kids? And I have no family. Yeah. Um, I feel like, uh... You've known him since you were how old? I was 12. He was my first. What are you gonna do if he fails the lie detector test? His bags, his clothes is already bagged up in garbage bags. <laughs> At the top of this step! Let's hear his side of the story. We gotta hear both sides of the story. So let's welcome Mark. This. Hi, Trisha. So, Hi. so let, let, me, let me go through some of the issues with you, Mark. Okay, is it true that you called out another woman's name during sex? Trisha, that is not true. She must have heard something so else. So where do you go when you disappeared, like, two, uh, two weeks at a time? Where do you go? Well, in that particular instance, Trish, she, uh, she drives me to it, by the way. She treats me. The computer room? The woman in the computer room? Some friend of mine, what I thought was a friend of mine, told her that. My friends, I, you know what, I think they honestly get together and plot against me Why? just because they know her reaction. Oh, just because They know up. how she gets fired yeah. up, and they do that to get her to get her fired up, and they sit there, they will literally sit there at the card game and laugh at me and plan it. Uh, if I, oh, they plan it. If I'm your wife and you love me, why would you allow your friends to do that to me? Uh, well, and you know you, that it you, makes me that upset. Well, good boy. They do that. They do it just to get a charge well, out of you. Well, guess what, baby? They're not your friends well, if they want to do that. You two have got a 14-year-old daughter. Yes. This must be messing with her head. Terribly. It's not good. No. It's not good. So why do it? Well, she let her, for starters, she let her supposedly listen to the di the uh, pocket dial she was phone there. call. And, and Why do you let her do that? I, she was on the phone, and yes, she did hear it. Because my daughter is always, that's my dad. Don't kick him out, Mom. Don't kick him out. Maybe I was wrong to let her listen to that. Yeah, you were wrong. But at the same time, she needed to hear what no, the she tried. didn't need to hear. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. she didn't need you're to right. hear. You're right, you're, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Record All it. right, well, Mary we is tried. here. Mary is here because she needs to figure out her future. And here to help this couple in crisis get to the truth is polygraph examiner Tim Acosta. So, Tim. <laughs> Thank you.
a lot. We asked you, while you were in a relationship with Mary, did you have any sexual contact with a woman in the computer room of your house? You said no, Tim. Up next, I'm asking you, do you have an issue with alcohol? I enjoy drinking a beer every now and again. Do you have an issue with alcohol? Uh, yeah. Tell the truth, then. You are the fuck. Get off my stage. <laughs> the truth is revealed. What? Today on Trisha. I've known my husband, Mark, since I was 13 years old. Mark is the love of my life, but I can't stand it when he lies and he cheats on me. I've caught Mark cheating at least seven times with seven different women. One time Mark was gone for two weeks. When he came home, I found another woman's bra in his coat pocket. He even had sex with another woman in my house, in my bed, and still denies it. Is it true that you called out another woman name during sex. Trisha, that is not true. She must have heard something else. The computer room? The woman in the computer room? Some friend of mine, what I thought was a friend of mine, told her that. If I'm your wife and you love me, why would you allow your friends to do that to me? Uh, well, and you know you, that it you, makes me that upset. Well, well Mary we is tried. here. Mary is here because she needs to figure out her future. And here to help this couple in crisis get to the truth is polygraph examiner Tim Acosta. <laughs> so, Tim. We asked you, while you were in a relationship with Mary, did you have any sexual contact with a woman in the computer room of your house? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Mark was being truthful. I told you, girl, I told you. Okay, I okay. told you. Okay, our buddies I told one you. Down. Okay. One down. While you were in a relationship, Mark, with Mary, did you have any sexual contact with a woman who came to the door wearing your shirt? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Mark was being truthful. <laughs> Told ya. Told ya. Okay, that's two. Mark, we asked you, did you have sexual contact with any women when you went out of state with your best friend that was on that road trip? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Mark was being truthful. Again. Again. Okay. Again. Oh. We asked, did you have sexual contact with any woman when you were at the bar on Saturday night? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Mark was being truthful. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. We asked. Mark, during your relationship with Mary, have you had any sexual contact with anyone other than her that she doesn't know about? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Mark was being truthful. <laughs> asking you, do you have an issue with alcohol? I enjoy drinking a beer every now and again. Mark, <laughs> I asked you, seriously, I'm thinking of your daughter here, do you have an issue with alcohol? Uh, yeah. Tell the truth, then. No, seriously, do you have an issue with alcohol? Somewhat. Is that a yes? That's a yes. That's a yes. OK, because I noticed when I looked through all of your notes, in the bar, in the bar, drinking buddies, in the bar, in the bar, in the bar, in the bar. And, you know, seriously, I don't think you need to be too worried about him straying because that amount of alcohol, if it hasn't happened already, pretty soon he's not going to be able to raise a smile. Because <laughs> that is what alcoholism, which is what I'm talking about, that's what it does, and you know that. So the issue is, uh, seems to me, more about the alcohol and the drinking buddies that you have... That's you think exactly it... what it's about. It's just about going out and hanging out with my friends and... And... Well, when you hear... Trisha, when you hear accusations like this constantly every day... When we get home, the bars are gonna stop. If, and you know what? And your friends ain't coming to my house no more. If they like to get a rizzle out of me like that, you're why wrong. Why do you let them? You, why do you let them? Uh -huh. If you know this because body... Actually, I, because sick, I know the truth, as he told you, me, and I get a kick out of it, If you're sick and tired of oh. me... If you're sick and... You do you? I do. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Carry on. Me 
Meanwhile, there's a child in the middle of all of this, a daughter, who's going to end up marrying a man just like Daddy or becoming a woman just like Mummy. <laughs> so, be my guest. Spend some time with our counsellor if you want to change anything. If you don't want to change anything, I'll see you on the show next year. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. The truth is revealed. What? Today on Trisha. Okay, now, uh, as much as I love having our guests on the show, just make sure that uh, if you're going to play around, play around safely so you won't end up on this stage. Yeah? Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>